Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to another edition of the theorems from Chapter Six, Triangles, Class Ten, in CRT textbook, and for Nagaland Board of School Education. So we have done already two theorems. That's the basic proportionality theorem and the about the ratio. What happens to the ratio of areas of two similar triangles? Now this is the third one, which is also important for especially for the board examinations for Nagaland for Nagaland board. That's the Pythagoras theorem. Now this is a very known uh, theorem. We have been using it, I guess, for at least two three years, isn't it? Class 9 also we have used it, 8 also. So here what we are going to do is we are going to be now proving the Pythagoras theorem using similar triangles. There are many proofs but here we will use, we will try to prove, we will not, we will, we will not try, we will prove Pythagoras theorem using similar triangle concepts. So till then if you still haven't shared this video, haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. All right, get to the point then. What it states is in a right triangle, the square in a right triangle, that means in a, right, a triangle where we already have a 90 degree, the square of the hypotenuse, which is always the longest side opposite to 90, no? is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. That is what we are supposed to prove. All right, so let's see what is given we are given a right angled triangle. Let's say ABC in which let us assume angle B to be our 90 degree. This triangle can change, angle also can change according to you. Okay. What are we supposed to prove? It's better to write systematically like this. We are supposed to prove, see this is the 90 degree, so opposite side, that's the hypotenuse. Square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides, AB square plus BC square. So initially what we have is, we have a triangle like this, where this is 90 degree. So opposite to 90 degree is the hypotenuse. So the square of the hypotenuse should be equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides. Okay. All right. So of construction, what we will do here is from the point B, what we will do is we draw BD perpendicular to we drop this BD, that's that will be perpendicular to AC. Okay, now, all right. Proof. Now, let's take out this two triangle that is in triangle ABD and triangle ABC. We're going to use a similar uh, triangle formula that is in this triangle ABD. And the full triangle. What do we have in this triangle and the bigger triangle? We have angle A common, isn't it? For this triangle as well as for the bigger triangle. So angle A is equal to angle A, that's a common angle. Then we have 190 degree each also. Since we have dropped a perpendicular, we have angle A, D, B would be equal to angle A, B, C. Why? Because each 90 degree. So then by angle angle similarity criterion what we can have is triangle a b d similar to triangle a b c so if these two triangles are similar let's try to get a sample of these two triangles so the first triangle is a b d so we will try to draw according to it okay i'll draw it here so triangle A, B, D, so triangle A, this D, B, and this triangle A, B, C also, we will try to align with respect to this similar triangle only. So what happens is A angle A, angle A is common. For the bigger triangle, which is the 90 degree, angle B, no? So what is left? C. 
So we have proved that these two triangles are similar, isn't it? Triangle A, B, D and triangle A, B, C are similar. Similar means we, will, we are trying to keep the corresponding angles in the same direction, that is, in the same alignment, angle A, angle A, angle A, D, B, 90 degree, A, B, C, 90 degree. No? This smaller triangle, bigger triangle, two triangles in comparison. So automatically this becomes angle B, this is angle C. So don't be confused with YA, YB here. No, this one is this triangle. This one is the bigger triangle. We are arranging it with respect to the corresponding angles. All right, because what we, when we do this, what we have is it becomes easy for us to now arrange the corresponding angles because in, if two triangles are similar, their corresponding sides will be in the same ratio. That is AD by AB. Instead of memorizing, no? you just have to arrange the triangle according to it. AD by AB will be equal to DB by BC. DB by BC equal to AB by AC. So we have these three ratios. No need to take all these three ratios because what we need is AB square and BC square. So from this part, always remember that we will try to get AB square from the first part. Okay, so that means I'll take this. I'll take only these two ratios, this and this ratio. So I'll just ignore this, not required, that's why. So which implies AD by AB is equal to AB by AC, which then implies if we cross multiply, if we cross multiply, what do we have? AB into AB, that's AB square, and this is AC into AD. Fine, cello, that will be question one. Okay, now, all right, so similarly, what we can have is similarly, if we take this triangle and the bigger triangle again, we can easily prove. Similarly, triangle. B, D, C. No need to prove this one because we have already proved for one. Okay, similar to triangle A, B, C. So this one also let's try to align according to this just like the way we have done. So this time uh, we will try to take the sample of B, D, C only. So B, D, C. It becomes easier as I mentioned. So B, D, C. And triangle A, B, C, we will try to arrange with respect to this B, D, C. Because in triangle B, D, C and triangle A, B, C, again what happens? Angle C and angle C will be common. Angle C for triangle B, D, C and angle C for triangle A, B, C. So this is C. In this triangle, D is 90 degree. In the bigger triangle, B is 90 degree. So automatically this one comes A. So then our arranging what we can have is CD by BC will be equal to DB or BD by AB will be equal to BC by AC. So here what we will try to get is we will try to get BC square. So I'll take these two ratios only. This one not needed that's why we are not taking it okay bc is equal to bc by ac so again cross multiplying bc into bc bc square this is ac into cd equation number two so now what we will do is adding equations one and two their corresponding sides so what was equation one Equation 1 was AB square. Equation 1 was AB square. So AB square plus BC square is equal to AC into AD plus AC into CD. So AB square plus BC square equal to, now you can see AC, AC common, no? So what is left here? AD plus common, common out, AD is left here, CD. 
so a b square plus b c square equal to a c into what is a d plus c d if you look at the figure a d plus c d that is a c no? a d plus c d that's what a c only so this can be written as a c so now what we have is a b square plus b c square equal to a c into a c is how much a c square so that's the proof all right so it can be as simple as that please no need to memorize just do it two three times go through the video once again and go do it two three times it will be very easy for you okay all right then i'll see you in the next video with the now the converse of the pythagoras theorem okay bye bye